A non Muslim sister who had a question? Question. Uh, yes, sister, most welcome. If uh, Muslim people say that Christians are from Ahl al Quran and they have four books Zabur, Injil, Quran, and Torah, then why they only read one Quran? Why not first three books? Sister has asked a very good question. Uh, sister, are you a Christian? No, no, no. I am Emirati, but I'm asking the question on behalf of someone else. Okay. Sir. Sister is asking a question on behalf of somebody else in Emirati. Emirati is a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Muslim. Because the Emirati are non Muslims also. No, 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 I'm Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> but from my accent, I could make out, sister. Our sister asked the question that if Muslims believe that there are four revelations, Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran, why do they only read in the Quran? Why don't they read the other three? As I said earlier, sister, that by name, there are four revelations mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the Wahid, the revelation given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the Wahid, the revelation given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the Wahid, the revelation given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But there were other revelations also, as I mentioned earlier in my answer, in Surah Raj chapter 13, verse 38, that there were other revelations given earlier, also like Sufa Ibrahim, etc. But, sister, as I was telling to the brother earlier, that we have to follow the last and final revelation, that is the updated one. And the last and final revelation is the Quran. All the other revelations that came before, they have not been preserved in the authentic form, sister. They have been changed by the passage of time. As the Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 79, For that woe to those who write the book with their own hand. And then traffic is it for miserable price. Woe to those for what they earn, woe to those for what they write. So here the Quran says that all the earlier scriptures have been changed. And all the earlier scriptures that came before the Quran, they were meant for a particular group of people and was meant to be followed till a particular time period till the new revelation came. So all the revelation that came were meant only for those people. Like the, the Quran says that Isa alayhi salam was only sent for Bani Israel. The Bible says that Jesus Christ peace be upon was only sent for the Jews. So today, because Quran is the last and final revelation, it was not sent only for a particular group of people, it was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was sent for all of humanity. So today, irrespective of whether you are living in India, or in UAE, or in Saudi Arabia, or in Pakistan, or in USA, you have to follow the last and final revelation of the Quran, and the last and final revelation of Muhammad Wasallam. Why do we read only the Quran? The other scriptures you can read for academic purposes or for doing dawah. But for Hidayah, Quran is sufficient, it is the last model. As I told you, that if there is an old model and a new model, you will follow the new model. This is the updated model, after this no new model will come. It is the last revelation, after this no new revelation will come. That is the reason Muslims only read the Quran. You can read the other scriptures for doing dawah or for getting the others closer to Islam. But for Hidayah, only Quran is sufficient. Hope that answers the question, sister.